And for those just tuning in, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com, a personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. And we are just kind of messing around with the, the Sega Genesis Mini, bouncing around between games. Oh, that music, though. Oh, is there? Sorry, the volume on my TV is really low right now to try and prevent the sound from leaking in. Let's keep it on normal, because I beat it on easy. Oh, actually, we should turn the lives up, though. Definitely turn the lives up. And I like playing as Blaze. I, I think Skate, a little too weak. Axel and Max, a bit too slow. In 3, you can play as Kid on Rollerblades or a Kangaroo. Nice! Yeah, this one's like Kids on Rollerblades. And so yeah, I played, like back in the day, we played a, I played a bunch of beat em up games. These were way popular uh, in like the 80s and 90s, and this genre kind of went away because there's not really a lot to it. You just kind of walk to the right and mash a single button over and over again. And a lot of them were designed for the arcade, and they're intentionally designed to be tough and milk money from you. And the genre kind of fell apart, especially as... Like, this this game works well in the arcade, where you're just kind of messing around for a few minutes, but spending full price on a game that you can beat in under two hours, and you're just kind of walking to the right, smashing buttons over and over again, uh, doesn't... doesn't really... not all that appealing. But I've played a bunch of these, like, a bunch of the Ninja Turtles games I've played. There's actually a new one in the arcade right now, if you still have arcades in your neck of the woods. They made a modern Ninja Turtles beat-em-up which has a little bit more nuance to it. There's like a super move button and some other things going on. It's still mostly walk to the right and smash the attack button again and again. But yeah, Streets of Rage. Uh, some of the things I really like about this one, the music, of course, the soundtrack is incredible. And the thing that I've noted uh, is that, and I'm sure many at the time noted too, is that this didn't sound like video game music at the time. Like, yes, it's using, like, the the chipset, the audio chipset in the Genesis to make this down, but, like, compositionally, it is a 90s dance, it's 90s dance music, and it's so dope. Does it, yeah, it, it sounds more like music on the radio than it sounded like video game music. Hmm. Flip over, send him to su Suplex City. Ooh, I see the... My frame's dropping here a little bit. Sorry about that. And who attacks just running with the knife <laughs> like that? Also, there was a couple more moves in this game than your average beat-em-up. You had you can hit B and C and get sort of that sweep or hit from behind. Uh, you can hit, double tap forward and attack and get this sort of jumping thing. You've got a special move button. That gives you yet another attack, but then that takes some of your health, so I try and save that for the the bosses. This is some electric circus music. Hey, Randy. Hey, Randy at Player 2 Star. How you doing? Yes, absolutely electric circus music. So yeah, we'll play two stages of Streets of Rage, and then we will play a couple more things, and then we'll wrap up the stream. Love that flip over to the German suplex. Bang. Hadouken. Yeah, in terms of modern beat-em-ups, though, the one I really want to play is actually River City Girls. It's out now. I've heard really good things about it. It's made by WayForward Entertainment, and they're a really good indie dev studio. They do the Shantae games, and they've done a bunch of other stuff, Contra 4. Really well-regarded games that I've enjoyed. The challenge is I really wanted to play that game online. Um, like, about this time last year, I streamed that game with Double Jump, and we had, like, the original game. You can play River City Ransom 
on the NES online service, and we had so much fun playing that together that we really wanted to play this new River City together, but because it doesn't have online play, that's just completely killed my momentum for it. Um, maybe it could be something we play at the Extra Life Marathon, I and mean, it's only two player, but that, that sounds like a good midnight to 4 a.m. game. And also, I don't—I know I don't have the the graphics and the overlays out in this particular uh, layout, but my wife and I finished River City Girls. What did you think of River City Girls? I'm gonna hit somebody with that flash kick. Oh, I'm gonna hit her with the flash kick. Let's go. Nice, the front and the back. Ooh. <laughs> Suplex City. Hmm, Hadouken. Another throw. Nice. And one more kick to the face for good measure. There we go. Alright, that's going to be it for Streets of Rage for now.